Hello, this is Emmy from Techie Doodle Doo and welcome to The Floor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your IKEA Dirigera hub and also how to connect it to a bulb and a remote control. Let's start with some unboxing. So here we have our little box. Let's see. And there is the Dirigera hub. Here you can see it. And by the way, this is the Trofri hub, which is the first generation, this is the second one. And uh, as you can see, this is a lot thinner than the old guy. There we go. Okay, so just let's set it down and look under the cardboard. And here we have some power cabling and also an internet cable. So just, there we go. These are always fun. One down. And for the third one, I think you should come up with your own melody. <laughs> now it's your turn. What a nice melody. Awesome. Okay, so our internet cable, this one you will plug one end into your modem or router into the ethernet port. And let's just see if I'm able to plug this in without looking. Uh, 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 where are my skills? There we go. And uh, this we need for power. Fancy uh, elastic here. Very nice. Let's just plug this into our socket. There we go. And we can plug this in right here. And this there. There we go. So now we have to find our phones. So first things first, you have to download the app, which is the Home Smart app. IKEA also have an app called Home Smart One, but that is for the old guy, the Trofri. So for the Dirigera, you will have to choose the Home Smart app. It should also be written in the description of the apps, which gateway they are for. So let's go into the app. Get started. Yes. We have already connected everything because uh, we came prepared. So we can just skip these. And you'll look for the circle. This one is full. So we can hit the next button. If it is not full, you'll have to Wait for it to become full. The ring will pulse when the hub is ready. And it does. I don't know if you can see it super clearly on camera here, but it does do some pulsing. So my hub is ready. Yeah, time to confirm your hub. So now you are going to turn your hub around and look for this little button. It says action just right beside it. And you're going to press the action button. And there we go. The hub has been added. Let's click next. Hmm, I'll call this home. Awesome. And now we can create a room. I will be creating a living room. Done. And there we go. Our hub is ready. 
So I'm just going to move to the other side of the living room, closer to the bulb I'm going to connect and I'll see you there. So here I have a lamp with an IKEA Trofri bulb inside and it's currently off. Let's click on add a product to your home in the application and we'll choose lights and the light is off, which is correct. Let's go to the next one. And here we will have to follow the video and turn the lamp on and off to the same rhythm as the video. So let's just run the video and try. And now the light is blinking, which shows us that it is pairing to the hub. So yes, let's press the other light is blinking. One product found. Awesome. That is the one product that we wanted to connect. This shines very brightly. <laughs> I found my products. And we will just, uh, sure, we'll call it light one. You can change the name if you want to and click done. There we go. Now we have a living room with a light bulb. Nice. So now we have our bulb connected to the Dirigera hub, but we want a remote control as well, right? So let us start by clicking on the plus right here add a product, remotes, and you'll cho choose the one that is the most similar to the remote control that you have. So in my case, mine looks like that. And I will choose the first one. And here it will explain how to put in the batteries. I have already done that. I have the batteries right there. And now we have to press the pairing button four times quickly. So here we have the pairing button. One, two, three, four. And the light will be flashing. Yes, it is blinking. And it did find the remote control. So yes, I found my products. And again, we'll just accept the name that they provide us with here because uh, I am not in my creative space right now, but you can call yours whatever. And we will add that to the living room as well. Done. Here we can choose which products we want to control with the remote control. So in my case, I would like to control this bulb with the remote control. So I'll just tag that one. And done. There we go. Does it work? Let's see. Oh yeah. And you can also click on your room here in the application. You can click on the light. And here you can choose to dim the light from the application if you would like to and also choose the color tone. So if you want a more white light or a more orangey light. And of course, if you do have a bulb that supports more colors than that, you can also choose them. And if you do want to remove a product such as your new bulb, you can just click on the edit button in the top right corner. And here you can rename it and remove it and so on and so forth. So there we go. Now the Dirigera is working. And we're all set with our micro system here. And if you want to add more bulbs, you can just do that. You can also group them so that you can control multiple bulbs at once, which is very nice if you have a lamp that has multiple bulbs. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. Hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos, which will be including a video about how to connect your Dirigera Hub to the Apple HomeKit and also how to connect it to Google Home. And there we go. Have a good one.